Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to key out a green screen. So the clips I'm using can be found linked below if you want to work along. So to start with, I'm going to drag the green screen clip into image 2 and my background into uh, video 1. Stretch them out to match the length and then we're going to jump straight into Fusion. So to key out a green screen, we need to use the Delta key. So we press Shift, Spacebar, Delta key, and we select that. It drags it straight into our node tree. If we drag Delta key into Window 1, and then on our Delta key in the Inspector, we grab this little eye droplet. We click and drag. It won't work if you just click. So you click and drag and hover, hover over the color you are wanting to remove. So we want the green to remove, so we hover over the green and drop. And just like that, the green is removed from our scene. Looks pretty good. But if we dig a little deeper, we'll find that it's not quite as good as we want it to be. So in the first window, we click on our little drop down here and we select Alpha. Now this will show us what is going to be keyed out. All the black areas will be transparent and all the white areas will be opaque. Now we can see there's some grey in here which means we've got some opacity and not full transparency on our background which we need to fix. So in the inspector we have our gain option and if we drag that up a little bit we can see that it clears our background and we have a nice clear background. We can play with the balance a little bit if we want just to uh, try and get a bit more opacity on the foreground but it's not essential so maybe bring the balance up a little bit <coughs> we then move over to our pre-mat tab and this can help us if there's any areas still remaining such as this we do have a slight um, a grey patch left in the bottom right corner so we just put a box around that it will identify those parts and key them out for us. Uh, the next part is we move on to our mat tab. Now if there was any part still remaining that wasn't keyed out in our background we would bring the threshold low end up but you won't, don't want to go any higher than 0.2 as you'll start to lose detail. Um, but because it's the foreground that we need to um, fix at the moment we're going to drag the hide end down and again we don't want to go any lower than 0.8 because that will cost us some detail. So let's see how far we need to come. There we go, 0.89 gives us a nice solid mat and we should have a nice keyed out image. So if we jump back into our edit page and we'll just go full screen just to check and we'll play through. It's looking pretty good but we still have a bit of green overspill on the edge of our actress. So we want to fix that. We also just want to zoom in on our image to get rid of the black bars. So back into the Fusion page. Now in the Delta key we have a couple of options that we can try to get rid of that green spill. We can move into the Fringe tab and we can set our spill method to anything other than Burnt. If you use Burnt it will change the colour of your subject. So anything up to Well Done and we can jump back into the edit page and see if that has fixed our green overspill. It's reduced it a little bit but there's still some green around the edge of our hands. So if we go back into the Fusion tab and we go back to our mat. Now something I forgot to mention earlier is the replace mode. We always want to be source because it will uh, correct any colour distortion we've got in our, uh, in our foreground. And we also have this erode and dilate. Now, if I decide to erode, I'll just do it to the extreme just to show you, it actually erodes our image away, so it cuts into our image. Now, we just want to remove the outer green marks, so if we hold control while we drag our erode um, slider, it gives us a lot more control. We just want to um, drag it so that we just remove that green, not too much. There we go. So if we go back to our edit page, 
we could maybe reduce a little bit more but it's starting to look pretty good so let's just jump back into fusion just erode a little bit more and there we go we have our actress on a replacement background now it doesn't look very natural at the moment because the lighting is totally different so all we have to do is jump into the color page and try to match the lighting so we bring the offset slightly over to the, the blue the gain so the highlights slightly over to the blue now let's have a look that looks more natural she's uh, got a slight blue tinge to her now so she's matching the lighting of the scene and uh, that's a simple green screen removal tutorial so again if you like these just um, just like and subscribe and I will keep them coming so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time